How you doing YouTube? This is Lobo. Uh, kind of chilling at the house today as you can see. I'm here in my lovely ghetto. Got about another couple of weeks down here before I head up into the hills and uh, I guess I'm doing what other people in the ghetto are doing right now and I'm waiting on a check to come in. Um, I'm waiting for my retirement fund to come in, not waiting on a government check. Uh, what I'm doing here, uh, let me see if I can bring this down. Check that to make sure it's where I want it to be. About right there. All right, I may not make you suffer through this whole thing. What I'm doing here is, a uh, day before yesterday, I went up into the hills and I was looking for uh, pine sap, uh, fat wood, and I was in a historic gold and silver producing region. And I've been looking online. Let me see if I can find an example if they'll even show up for you. I took it out of here, the prettier ones. But in here, for example, in these rocks, I don't know if you're going to be able to catch this or not, we've got these, run, well, looks like running through these gray filaments that are running through pretty much all of these rocks that I picked out here. And I've looked online and had a friend talk to me about it, and he says he thought it was silver. It might be trapped in here. And I don't know if it's going to be worth the time and effort to extract silver out of quartz like this, because I'm not sure of the... Uh, what the weight of silver is compared to quartz. I know the gold's the heaviest thing in the creek, but I'm not sure where silver lines up in that. So what I was gonna do, just in a couple of these, maybe the ones that aren't pretty, I was gonna kinda smash them in half and see if these filaments ran through it. Because if I'm looking at them, I'm having a hard time determining if these filaments are actually gonna be silvers in there or just slivers of pyrite. So I've got these guys here, and then in this pan, I've got rocks here that are showing signs of possible gold. I don't see gold flake outright on the, these. At least I don't think they're gold flake. There's, this one here is nice. I can see a lot of pyrite in this one. But these are indicators there might be gold uh, in that area. Yeah, little shinies on this. So anyway, we collected these. We weren't near the creek. This is just up on the hillside. And this looked interesting. And of course I got these three here. I also have to look up to see what these are. They're pretty cool looking. I think I'm going to smash one of these guys open too. So, uh, standard disclaimers, don't try this at home. You should be wearing safety glasses, unless you're an idiot like me. But again, I'm not going to crush these guys up. I just want to smash them. Uh, just do one smash on it. Uh, quartz is a, I believe it's a silica is what it is. And uh, if you are going to be crushing these up, they're pretty easy to do. You can get a mortar and pestle and just drop it down in there and pound, pound, pound. Um, if you want to do... Uh, a larger rocks, so you get a lot of rocks you want to move through. You could also do uh, the post hole digger, type, not the post hole digger, but a tube and it's got the handles, post hole hammer or whatever you want to be, and you can invert that and smash that with a steel rod and it'll get you the, uh, it'll ship, break these down because gold travels with quartz. Uh, where you see quartz or where you see iron pyrite, you're probably going to see gold. Not always, but they do love to run together. So this one has got some markings inside of it and then uh, what I'm doing here simple as that um, there's definitely some kind of I don't know what that is there's definitely lines in this and this quartz that's an orange colored Continues pretty much throughout. So. Sure is pretty. I'm do maybe one more. Ah, this one here I don't want to check out. Yeah, I can't tell. It looks a lot like pyrite, so. And this marking appears just to be on the surface. So maybe this is exterior to it. It doesn't seem to be down in the quartz, even though it looks like it would be. Oh, see, now we got a little sliver of it down in there. So that's not dirt that's down in there. Look out, Frankie, you're going to knock my camera over, buddy. Cool. And the other one I want to check out is this beauty right here. Now this one has a quartz 
And then it also has the iron in it. You can tell from the rust that's in it. Wow, it looks pretty. This is a this is good indicators here. Good indicators here that we will be going back. And you can see up in the corner, this certainly looks a lot like gold, but I don't believe that it is. And how I can suppose that this isn't oh there we go, break that off. And how I can suppose there's a little little shinies that are in there well actually correction sparklies I don't know if you can see it but in the right lights there's two pieces there that look like gold but the problem with it is, is they sparkle in the sun they don't shine that sounds like it'd be the same thing but it's actually different this is reflecting the sun like a metal would whereas with gold it doesn't have a nearly a sparkly effect to it so just doing a little uh a little investigation on some of the rocks that we picked up on the hill. These are definitely good indicators, and another good indicator is the fact that it's a historic gold and silver producing region. And right here, that little piece right there, doesn't look so much now like gold, but it does in particular when you get it wet. But that right there is fool's gold. And fool's gold is a good indicator. Indicator by meaning yeah, you probably want to poke around a little bit because there might be some uh, precious minerals in the area. And the last thing I want to do is check out these orange ones here. This is really cool looking stuff. Oh, nice, look at that. Don't know what that means, but it sure is pretty. Dark lines to it. One more whack here. All throughout. So if you know something about rocks and you're seeing this and this shows up, Feel free to comment to let me know what I'm looking at because I'm trying to research this online to see exactly what type of quartz this is. But yeah, man, just hanging out in the ghetto today, smashing rocks. I want to kind of share with y'all out there kind of what I look for when I'm out in the field as I look for these type of indicators. It's nice. And it looks like there's actually flake in this one too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save a couple of these pieces. I'm going to locate me a mortar and pestle, just a little handheld one, something I can carry in the field with me. And this looks a little bit like there might actually be gold flake in this. And the best way that you can tell, and pretty much two different ways you can tell, is you can go through a chemical process, uh, which they would pour on this and it would melt away the quartz. And if there's any gold in here, the gold flake would be left alone. Uh, anything chemical kind of, yeah, uh, it doesn't sound right to me. I'm sure it's just fine, but it's not my thing. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm going to, of course, get a protective mask to protect me from the silica that's floating around in the air because that will slice your lungs up. Uh, it was a real problem for miners back in the day. So I put a mask on and I put this in a mortar and pestle and a rock about this size would take maybe, I don't know, five, six wax in the mortar pestle to bring it down to powder. And then what you do with the powder is you put the powder into a gold pan like this add water to it and then you pan it out because the quartz will come out because it's relatively light compared to gold and the gold will stay behind. This one's a beaut. This one's got pyrite all over the outside of it. Do one more before I let you go. Thanks for sticking with me if you've made it this far. Boring I know but the ghetto isn't exciting as it sounds like on TV. Trust me. It's a good... Although this wouldn't make a tool. Fire in the hole, Penny. Look out, girl. Oh, that's pretty. 
And you can see in this one here, it's not totally apparent. From, well, it is here. Oh no, that's where I just broke off. It's not really apparent from the outside, but this is filled with, it's got all the rust running through the middle of it. So this tells me this is iron in here. And iron and quartz, which is in quartz. It's another good sign you should poke around the area. And that's what we're going to be doing. Pretty stuff. Anyway, hope I didn't totally bore you to tears, but just want to kind of share with y'all what I'm doing today. Frankie, get out of there! And over here, since we're not going into the hills today, my husky's a little bit pissed off. And twice today, he has escaped out of that fence. He just starts chewing the side off of it. Just like your daddy, you can't be caged, can you? Good for you, dude. Thanks for watching.